You know, having to hold a runoff election usually means extending the time for candidates to campaign against each other, maybe drill in and dial in to get some specific or at least more specific differences between them. And that's kind of what we saw with the runoff election for the mayor of Eagle, except the final weeks of the runoff election got kind of ugly. Social media, mailers made it more of a mess. Community members confused about what candidate believes what, who supports whom in what was supposed to be a nonpartisan position. Joe Paris sat down with Mayor-elect Brad Pike to talk about the race and his vision for Eagle, a position he won, Pike that is, with 55% of the vote, where Pierce got the other 45%, the incumbent. We pick up the conversation with what Pike thought of the contrived controversy. I think they reached out and tried to find anything that can be twisted just enough to make the public confused. And um, yeah, these packs, um, Boy, I learned a lot about PACs this, this election. Eagle Mayor-elect Brad Pike saw the intensity surrounding the mayoral runoff getting pretty serious. It escalated to the Idaho Republican Party putting out on their official social media a message directed at Pike. Quote, it is important to be aware of the groups and organizations, such as the Democrats, that are supporting a certain candidate. It roots back to a flyer paid for the Preserve Idaho PAC. It paints Pike as the Democratic candidate in the nonpartisan race insinuating he took liberal dark money. Here's the deal, I didn't receive any money, okay? The, the Democrats didn't give me a dime, the Republican Party surely didn't give me a dime. In fact, after 41 years, Joe, um, I'm very disheartened that I felt like the, the Republican Party that I put so much into turned their back on me. I mean, let's be real about it. Political action committees, or PACs, getting heavily involved in the race was a surprise to many came with an impact for sure. They, they took some information and really ran with it. And uh, that was so disheartening for me to, you know, I can't, I can't get out there and rebut everything getting thrown out uh, against me. But I could tell you that uh, the, the uh, erroneous um, information that was thrown out there is absolutely false. And uh, I'm just sad that it had to be taken to that level. Still, Pike is ready to get to work. And that includes bringing the community together. Harmony, as he puts it, much more to also get to work on. Well. Outside of the harmony part, obviously public safety and economic stability are the two cornerstones of my platform that I ran on my campaign. I feel it's imperative though, Joe, that we get the right staffing levels up. We had to reallocate, like I've said before, you, you, you pick your line items that you think the monies need to go to. Public safety is the paramount uh, cornerstone of any successful community. So that has to be addressed, and I think there's, implement, there's a way to implement those funds through the general fund to make that happen. There's quite a circumstance as well for Pike. He was the lone member of city council that voted against annexing Avamore. That's a done deal now, but Pike and city council will need to work with developers in the community to figure out how to address concerns. The, the, the irony of this whole conversation with Avamore is I didn't think we were ready for it. I think on our last uh, interview we talked about we weren't ready for it. Um, that's still my strong opinion on it. I'm going to stay there. The fact that they are here, they legally went through the process. The, the partnerships that I, I gleaned and I want, it's going to be interesting to see how developers come to um, me as the mayor and have a dialogue of what their, uh, their plans are and how their whole project comes to fruition because um, I, just, I just think it wasn't the right time and I'm just going to stay committed to that. So what will the uh, new mayoral administration look like? Well, we will find out coming up in January when all the mayors across the Treasure Valley in the state of Idaho are installed officially by city council. It will be interesting. Uh, Mr. Pike, he serves as a city council president right now. So, Brian, there will be uh, a few changes coming up at city council over in Eagle. But as you and I were talking about during the story, it's very interesting to see how party politics uh, right. ended up in the municipal arena. And I, I spoke to people in Eagle who said, I... I I know that it's out there. I know this type of big league politics exists. We just didn't realize it was going to come into this Eagle election. They didn't have to step into this. Right. Either party, but the Republican Party specifically, they did not have to get involved in this, and they did, and it kind of blew up in their face. And also, Sheriff Ada County Sheriff Matt Clifford had to oh, distance yeah. himself from Jason Pierce because somebody else was throwing around his, quote, uh, endorsement. It's on that same mailer, actually, yes. the backside of the mailer we showed. So, yeah. There you go. Didn't have to do that. All right, here we are. Thanks, Joe.